Hi again, Year 10. It is now week three uh, of your online learning. We're still looking at the topic of school. Uh, this is lesson one of the three lessons this week. So the first uh, activity here is a starter. Las normas del INSEE are the rules at school. So what I want you to do, please, is have a look at the, first of all, the, write the date and the title. The title is Las normas del INSEE. The date there is wrong because that's the date that I'm recording this. Um, so you need to write the correct date in your exercise book, please underline it with the ruler and then write up this passage in full, please filling in the gaps as you go. So the gaps underneath, the gaps will be filled by the words underneath. Some of them, though, you will not need. So make sure that you don't that you're, you're choosing carefully. OK, should take you about five, eight minutes. Pause the video while you do the task and then start again. Excuse me. Right, so I'm assuming you've paused, you've completed the task, and you're now looking for the correction. So we have um, underneath are the words that you should have left that you didn't use. Uh, and out of interest, write those down some of them. You've got por, well, por lo tanto and a pesar de eso. Can you write those down and find out what they mean, please? I'm not going to tell you, you should find those out. Um, okay, en mi insti, estudio. Química y biología en los laboratorios, que son muy grandes. There's only one way you can do this gap fill there. It's designed so that uh, there is only one answer. Uh, remember, if you're talking about things that you study, you don't use the definite article. So it's just estudio química, it's not la química. Uh, next one, no me interesan. And it has to be interesan rather than interesa, which you had left because we're talking about something plural. Las clases de religión. Porque son aburridas. Uh, además, el something es severo, el profesor es severo. Además rem means remember besides. Lo something de mi insti. Uh, lo bueno de mi insti es que tenemos un patio y una piscina grande. Sin embargo, no hay campo de fútbol. So that's what you should have got for your starter, please. And that revises the language we did last week, looking at the facilities you have in school. OK, so moving on to the main part of the lesson today. Um, these are the objectives. So we're looking at vocabulary about school uniform and rules, understanding how to put together and use phrases followed by an infinitive, and also to learn exclamations. That's what we're doing this week. You'll be doing listening and reading tasks and various other activities. And at the end of the week, you can set some targets on how to improve. OK, primero tenemos leer. So it's a reading exercise, please. Empareja las fotos con los textos. Just move that over a little bit. Um, so you're matching up photos with texts. Now, I've uh, attached here a picture of from the book, from the exercise, from the textbook, rather, which gives you four texts. One, two, three, four, and people. Silvia, Gustavo, Maya, and Carlos. So what you need to do, please, is match up the description with the appropriate person. So write out, as I had on the previous uh, page, the lesson, the lesson numbers one, two, three, four, layer, then read through and match them up. Should take you about five minutes, uh, or maybe a bit less. You're just looking for key words here. Okay, so pause the video, do the task when you're ready, move on. OK, so here we are with the answers for this. So the first person speaking was Maya. She was talking about uh, her uniform. You should have matched it up to the pictures. I'm just looking back to see if I can find the things here. Maya was talking about um, a really ugly uniform. She said it's una blusa amarilla uh, y unas medias blancas, so white tights she had on. Number two, Gustavo. Gustavo's description um, was number two, and that was they have to wear a uniform, uh, pantalones grises, una camisa blanca, y una chaqueta azul. So he had the blue jacket. Number three was Silvia, and is she had to wear a uniform as well. Es obligatorio llevar uniforme, un vestido a rayas. So she's got a striped um, dress. Uh, una chaqueta de punto azul oscuro, so she had a dark blue jacket. Uh, 
And the last one, therefore, is Carlos, and he doesn't wear a uniform at school. He wears uh, jeans and a red or green um, jumper. OK, so that's what you should have got for those. Mark and correct. We're going to do this. You're getting used to this now. Correct. Check and correct your work in red pen, please. OK, moving on. I don't know why there's such a delay when I try and move this on. OK, so there's now a sound uh, or an exercise, a listening exercise we need to do. I have attached the sound file in Google Classroom, so you need to use that for this exercise. So you can do this at your own pace. You can listen to it again if you need to. Um, it's using the same pictures that you just saw. So you may want to go back and look at the pictures you used for the reading exercise, because what you're listening to now is people talking and working out who is speaking. Is it Silvia, Gustavo, Carlos or Maya? Um, so they're going to be using uh, a slightly different description of the clothes they wear. Please match them up to who's speaking. Pause the video, move on when you're ready. OK, so that's what you need to be looking at here. We've got the, um, the vocabulary there for you with the colours as well. And on the previous slide, you had the reading in full. So you should have read through to see what they are wearing. The answers you should have got are, when you're ready, so pause the video if you haven't done this yet, then when you're ready, when you've done the listening, move on. OK, so the first speaker, person speaking was Carlos. And I'm just going to see if I can find the um, Sorry about this, I didn't have this ready. I'm going to see if I can find the um, transcript to tell you exactly what he was saying. Um, yeah, basically, he was um, talking about uh, no tenemos que llevar uniforme, lleva la ropa que quiero. I wear the clothes I like. Número dos was Maya. She was saying, sí, tengo que llevar uniforme, no me gusta nada. La blusa amarilla, las medias were all very ugly. So you should have got Maya for that. Number three was Silvia. She was saying, um, Es un vestido muy feo. It's a very ugly dress in the summer. Y el del invierno es todavía peor. The winter one is even worse. Uh, número cuatro must be there for Gustavo. Tengo que llevar una chaqueta. He has to wear a jacket. Pero no tengo que llevar cor corbata. He doesn't want to wear a tie. Okay, so check and correct your work. Hopefully you understood all of that. Now, since you've got the listings there attached, you can go through these several times if you need to, to get the extra information. Okay, so once the listening is done, we're gonna move on to grammatica. Now this, you need to write this down in full, please. So um, this is a reminder of stuff that you've done several times, maybe in year seven and eight, but we're getting more sort of detailed now with more accuracy you should be using. So adjectives of colour, remember need to agree with the nouns that they describe. And this you need to write down please, it's the um, table that goes with this gram uh, grammatical point. If you have a colour ending in O such as amarillo, masculine and singular, feminine singular will be amarilla, plural amarillos, Feminine plural, amarillas. If you have a colour ending in E or A, so something like verde, that will be the masculine singular and the feminine singular will be the same. Um, verdes is the plural, so you add ES to a, you add just add an S rather, to the, to the E if it ends in E. And then if you have a um, adjective or in this case a colour which ends in the consonant, so L, like azul, the singular masculine and the singular feminine stay the same, and you add ES for both the plurals. Now with colours there is this um, thing which with rosa and naranja, they do not change in the singular forms. They can take an S with the plural noun, um, that's the sort of change in language, it never used to be that you would have um, a plural. But so if you have something which is masculine, which is pink 
or orange. So un vestido, masculine noun, un vestido rosso would not be correct. It has to be un vestido rosa or un vestido naranja. So rosa naranja never change for plural for feminine or masculine. You can add an S in the plural. The other thing I'll add in here that you need to make note of is that the color, a color adjective followed by either the word for light, claro, or dark, oscuro, takes the masculine form, even if you're talking about something feminine or plural. So, for example, unos zapatos is more than one shoe, but the adjective is azul, claro. Unas medias and tights, the dark green, verde, oscuro. You don't make those plural. Okay, so can you please, before you move on, pause the video and copy this grammatical uh, table down, please, so that you have all of that information there. When you're ready, move on. Okay, so what you're now going to do is do some practice. And I'd like you please to write out these sentences in full in English and then in Spanish as well, so you're translating them. Um, so normally I wear a green tie with black tights and a striped tie and so on. So you're doing various things here. You're practicing um, the present tense of the verb llevar. You've got the vocabulary you've just seen for the green skirt, the black tights and a striped tie. Go back a few slides if you need to, to where you were listening to the people describing. You had all the vocabulary there that you can refer to. Um, the last one is a little bit trickier. We've got in my primary school, I used to wear a light blue dress. So think about the imperfect tense we saw last week. Um, you did a lot of practice on it then. So make sure you look back at that place. Pause the video here and then move on when you've done the task in full. OK, so you've done the task and now we're going to check and correct in red pen. So the first one. Normally I wear a green skirt with black tights and a striped tie. So normalmente llevo una falda verde con medias negras y una corbata de rayas. Number two. Tenemos que llevar uniforme, pantalones grises y zapatos negros que son muy feos. We have to wear a uniform, gray, um, gray trousers and black shoes, which are very ugly. There's a lot of detail here to look out for, please. You need to make sure that you've got your adjectives uh, agreeing with the nouns, that the vocabulary is correct, and that you've got here, for example, tenemos que, plus an infinitive, we have to wear. Number three, we don't have a uniform. No tenemos uniforme, por eso, that's so. Siempre llevo vaqueros y una camiseta en verano con una sudadera gris en invierno. We don't have a uniform, so I always wear jeans and a t-shirt in the summer with a grey sweatshirt in the winter. You may not have remembered sudadera. I think you see that in year eight. Um, if not, make sure you write it down now so that it's new vocabulary that you've learned. Remember here you've got the frequency expression always. Numero cuatro. Mi uniforme es una falda azul oscuro con un jersey azul. So my uniform is a dark blue skirt. So it's all masculine there because it's dark blue, even though it's una falda, which is feminine, with a blue jumper, con un jersey azul. Y finalmente, en mi escuela de primaria, llevaba un vestido azul claro. In my primary school, I used to wear, so the imperfect, llevaba un vestido azul claro, a light blue, uh, light blue dress. Okay, so there's quite a lot of uh, detail there. Please check and correct in red pen before you move on and make sure that's done really fully. When you're ready, move on. Um, and I'd like you please to write about 90 words, please, about what uniform do you wear? So, ¿qué uniforme llevas? Tenemos que llevar. ¿Qué opinas de tu uniforme? I think it's ugly. Creo que es feo. Me gusta porque es práctico y cómodo, pero I'd like it. I like it because it's practical and comfortable. But maybe you like a uniform. It's easy, but you don't like the color, or you don't like um, the jumper. You'd rather have a jacket. Okay, so think about that. 
what would you like to wear? ¿Qué te gustaría llevar? And another conditional here, preferiría llevar, I would prefer to wear. Okay, so just spend about 15 minutes on that, please. If you don't quite finish that, I've gone through this now thinking there is quite a lot here. Don't panic too much. What I want you to make sure, make, what I want to make sure you know is the vocab we've covered today. Um, so have, do give this your best shot, but spend about 10 minutes maybe, um, and then do as much as you can within that time. Okay, so pause the video so you can see this screen and then do that task, please. Once you've done that and you've moved on to here, here are the objectives we've looked at. School uniform today, we haven't looked at rules. We're going to look at those tomorrow and next, or in the next lesson. Um, but you have taken on board quite a lot of vocab and grammar. So well done, thank you very much. That's the end of lesson, uh, lesson one. And the next one will be lesson two, clearly. I'm just looking to see, that's what you will see next lesson. Okay, thank you very much indeed, year 10. That's the end of lesson one.